Thank you for looking at our video on Baggage 47. This video will show you how to create email accounts in your cPanel. The first thing you would need to do is to go to your browser and type in your domain name. In our, this case, we have a demo domain, Baggies 47 democom then backslash cPanel. So whatever your particular domain is, you would put here in the place of our baggies 47 democom and then, then just simply type in cPanel after that and hit your return key. That will bring you up to a screen like this. At this point, you type in the username that we have provided you, which will is not uh, something that you can change, but it is one that is uh, given to you based on uh, your domain name. Then the password. Whatever that has been given to you, this can be changed if you want a specific password. At that point you hit login and then you see that it takes you to your cPanel. In order to create email accounts for your domain, you go simply go to email accounts and you will get a screen that shows you where to put your email. So you notice that the domain is already in. All you have to do is to simply type it in. Let's say we want to put in an info at baggage47demo.com. We will then put in a password and notice here that as we type in the password it tells us how strong it is. The higher the number the better. We strongly recommend that you have nothing less than 80, preferably above 90. Notice the password I have put in had, is very strong. It has letters, numbers, symbols, and capital letters. So once you get your passwords in, it will uh, do this. If you want to generate your uh, password that's strong, you can just use the password generator, but it's probably better to put something in that you know. We have had cases where people put in very weak passwords and uh, it's very easy for people then to get into their email if we're trying to uh, hack it or spam your email. Here is your mailbox quota. By default it's 250 megabyte. You can change it to whatever you would like or you can simply say unlimited. We're going to leave this at 250 and that's probably the best thing to start out with till you see how much you're going to be needing it. We're going to simply hit the create account the account is now created and it then shows up down here at the bottom. As you can see it also shows you how many megabytes you have and also over here is a screen that will help you to set up uh, your different uh, email uh, on your email devices. You simply click, click there if you wanted to log in automatically here you could or you can go to configure email client. This brings you to a screen which has some options here. If you ha find your particular email client here, just simply click on it and it will download a file and it will automatically uh, fix your email to be on your computer. Manual settings are down here. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, or something like that, this is the section here that you would use. We can give you additional help and we have additional handouts that we'll give you should you need those. It's not as hard as it looks and we'd be happy to help you do that. Once you have your emails configured, you are all done. You can simply then go back to your home screen and you are finished creating your first email. You can create as many emails at, with your account as you wish. So just start creating those and they'll show up down at the bottom. As we said a minute ago, uh, all of these will start showing up. You just go here, create your next one and you can uh, also go in should you lose an employee and you want to change their password you just simply go here type in the password and a new password that will then keep them from logging back in to the account hope this helps you in uh, creating email accounts thank you for using baggies 47